Welcome back guys. This is modern day Chicago, but for today's video, we're winding the clock back to 1929. In the roaring 20s, Chicago was full of bootleg liquor, gambling, and gangsters. Al Capone was basically running the city, and he controlled alcohol and ran brothels and gambling dens. Today's story happened on February 14th of 1929 at 2122 North Clark Street in Lincoln Park. The location was the SMC Cartage Garage, where Capone's rival gang Bugs Moran and his crew hang out. At around 10.30 a.m., four men walked into the garage, at least two dressed as Chicago police officers, and lined up seven men from the Bugs Moran gang and executed them against the wall. It was referred to as the St. Valentine's Day Massacre and was one of the most well-known moments in Chicago gangster history. The original intent was to wipe out Bugs Moran, but he wasn't there when it happened. He was on his way to the garage when he spotted a police car and turned around, avoiding his own fate. This was also the moment that public favor started to turn on Capone, who was somewhat a folk hero in Chicago at the time. He had a charitable side to him and opened up soup kitchens across the city, and he had a decent public persona up until that time. Now this is the back alleyway behind Clark Street, and this is the back of the building that was attached to the original parking garage. The original parking garage was just down here on the right hand side behind this fence. Let's go take a look and see what it looks like today. Now a lot of these buildings around here are still original. The one straight in front of me is not, but this right here, this parking lot in this area here is right where this garage was. Now the original building where this massacre took place was torn down in 1967 and the bricks that lined the execution wall were recovered by a Canadian businessman named George Peaty. And he took them on a touring exhibition and he built a bar, uh, I believe somewhere up in Canada, and he recreated the wall in the men's bathroom. And the, that bar didn't last very long and then um, some of the bricks came up for sale. Now if you can see this tar outline right here on the building, that is where the roof outline of the original garage would have been. Now this building here is an apartment complex now. There's all kinds of reports of there being paranormal activities here, dogs barking uncontrollably while they're walking on the sidewalk or in this lot here. The city has stated that they will never build another building on this property. and. People within the uh, apartment complex have mentioned all kinds of different things happening within the building, from hearing screams, hearing gunshots, uh, very faint gunshots, to also um, having things fly off the shelves, TVs turning on and off in the middle of the night. Lots of paranormal activities that have been reported right here on this location. But going back to the bricks, I believe there was 414 bricks taken off of here and many of them had bullet holes. Most of them did not, but they were all numbered when they were removed. Several of them were sold to individual collectors, private museums, some public museums. And most of these bricks, they believe that they're cursed because everybody that has owned one pretty much has had a tragic car accident, an unusual death. Um, it's a pretty fascinating story if you get a chance to look it up. It's kind of going down a rabbit hole that there's not really time to go into right now, but it's a fascinating story, and if you get a chance to look it up, it's, it's worth doing. But right now, around 300 of those bricks were reconstructed, and they're now at the Mob Museum in Las Vegas. This is what it looks like right now on display. And these were the recovered weapons that were used in the crime. Now, depending on which account you believe, this would have been the back alleyway where Bugs Moran would have started his walk and then decided to head back. And this is also the, um, the same area where, according to some reports, where the gunman took off. But this is absolutely the location of the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, give it a like, a share, uh, leave a comment, let me know what you like. And I have plenty of good stuff coming up. Thanks so much for watching and have a great night.